Okay, so this is the uh, TPO that I throw. I threw yesterday, um, and now it's in uh, data hard stage. So I like to show you how I trim it. And uh, also before I trim it, I like to show you normally how thick I leave my bottom. And uh, I've been showing you that uh, this is the um, measuring tool that uh, I uh, invented. And it's a very uh, good tool to uh, measure more accurate. So how thick the bottom is. So basically, there are two holes here, one in the center, one on the side. So I'm going to put the uh, center hole right by the center and then uh, just insert my vertical measuring ruler into the center, the center point. Um, you got the reading is about 79 millimeters and pull out and then I insert it to my outside hole um, I got a measurement is oh, 95 okay 95 on 39 so it comes to 16 millimeters, okay, 16 millimeters. And make sure that your ruler has to be flat, okay. Uh, sometimes if you bend it, then they, they will not be accurate. So make sure that your rule, uh, your uh, horizontal uh, metal should be uh, flat, okay. So measure the inner part and then the outside part. Okay, again, bring it closer, might be more accurate. So it comes to 16 millimeters. So I know that my bottom is about 16 millimeters thick. And uh, when I'm trimming, I know how much room I can call. Okay, and I'm trying to uh, use water to Take my tea bowl. Okay, tap center. So that uh, I use water and tap center method, and I could get it to stick on here. And if you are worried about your clay mine fly away, uh, which I don't think it will be, but. Uh, if you worry about it since I'm not going to trim here right by the corner so I could have uh, the uh, coil to even secure more right and then I'm ready to trim and I know that the base is about 16 millimeters and if I want to trim it within two or three millimeters thick, then uh, I know that I need to go about 13 millimeters deep. making a mark so this will be the rim of my foot and the clay in the middle I don't need it so
Okay, um, let's uh, double check how uh, how far I can go. So I put my ruler back in here, and then um, insert. So now it's about ten, okay, ten millimeters. So I know I have three more millimeters to go. Check it again. So now it is about 12, 12 millimeters. So I will go one more millimeter and then I will stop. Okay, so I will stop and then I will refine it because the uh, bottle is still rough. So I try to. Uh, So, since I have uh, this part, the inside part, within 30 millimeters, so I know this is the right thickness. So, when I'm trimming, I usually compare the outside part and this you know, inside part. If it's about the same level, then I know that this part here, it's I uh, got a, a, a very good uh, uh, thickness because the uh, the inside part and outside part is similar height. So that's my, um, I usually uh, how I uh, decide how much clay I can remove it. Um, after that, I just uh, compress, burnish the foot. right by the foot So this is the uh, table with the uh, texture. 
on the Epco trim. Okay, you can hear the sound. It's about right. Okay, so the thickness is very good, and uh, the foot is looking nice. So that's the uh, trimming. So just to uh, give you uh, some review that my new invention. You don't get it anywhere else. Um, I'm selling it on my Etsy, E-T-S-Y, and uh, this is the ruler that uh, you can measure exactly in millimeters. So um, you can <clears throat> measure exactly how thick in millimeters, so it's more accurate. And with that, too, or that, you don't miss, you don't get, leave the body too thick or you don't poke it through, you can cut through. So that's a very good tool to use, okay? so. Thanks for watching.